If you're an Amazon Prime member, you might be sitting on one of the easiest and most overlooked photo storage tools out there. It's called Amazon Photos and it's already included with your Prime membership. In this video, I'll walk you through what it does, how to use it on your web browser and on your phone, and some simple ways to make the most of it without getting overwhelmed. What is Amazon Photos? Amazon Photos gives you unlimited photo storage if you're a Prime member. That means you can safely back up every photo from your phone or computer without paying extra. The only limitation is videos. You only get five gigabytes of free video storage. After that, you'll need to upgrade if you take a lot of clips. And if you've used it before, you might remember something called Amazon Drive. That is now retired. Everything happens directly inside Amazon Photos, through the web or on your phone via an app. Amazon Photos on the web. Let's start with the web version of Amazon Photos because this is the easiest way to see everything in one place. Head to photos.amazon.com and sign in with your Amazon account. You'll land straight on the photo timeline, which is basically your entire photo library laid out in one long scrollable gallery. At the top along the side, you'll see the main menu tabs, photos, family vault, albums, memories, people, places, folders, and trash. Each one gives you a different way to view or manage your collection. Under photos, you'll see everything you've ever loaded, nice and simple. If you prefer a different view, then use the little layer icons at the top right to switch between small thumbnails, larger previews, or a beautiful collage style layout. Now the search bar at the top is more powerful than you might expect. You can type things like sunset, Emma 2022 or Dog Park, and Amazon Photos will use image recognition and metadata to find matches. If you want even smarter results or you don't see the people or places area, you need to head to settings, image recognition, and turn on tag photos and tag specific people. That unlocks facial recognition, location grouping, and object detection, so you can find photos of specific people or places automatically. Next, let's talk about the Family Vault, one of Amazon Photos' best features. This is where you can invite family members who also have Amazon accounts and share one central photo library together. Everyone's uploads appear in one shared place, which is perfect for families who want to preserve and enjoy memories without constantly emailing photos back and forth. Then we have albums, which works exactly as you would expect. You can create albums for events like family holidays, kids' birthdays, or weddings. It's a simple way to keep themed collections together without changing your main folder setup. You'll also see memories, which are automatically created time-based collections things like autumn 2024 or spring 2023. They're lovely little highlights that keep you rediscovering older photos without digging. People and places are next. Once facial recognition and location data are turned on, Amazon will group your photos by person and show where they were taken. So you can scroll through your life visually by face or by map. Now let's talk about folders, one of my personal favorites. Folders give you a traditional explorer or finder style view for your photos, which is brilliant if you like structure and prefer to see your collection organized by folder names. If you want my full walkthrough of this feature, check out the video linked at the top of the screen. Back in the photos area, if you scroll down further, you'll find the filters pane, really useful for narrowing things down. You can filter by media type, date taken, people, places, or even themes like things. It's a great way to quickly jump to exactly what you need. To view a photo full size, just double click it. From there, you can do quite a lot without even leaving the browser. You can remove it from the family vault. You can share it via a link, email, or directly to Facebook. You can mark it as a favorite with the little heart icon. You can start a slideshow. Or if you click on the little eye icon, you can view details like which album it's in, the file name, the date taken, device information, and even GPS location. From this info panel, you can also edit the date taken or add the photo to another album. Then click on the three little dots for even more options. You can do edits by rotating, you can apply filters, add text, 
or use the radial focus effect, which is great for social media ready edits. From the same menu, you can also download a photo or move it to another album. And finally, a quick note on storage. Keep an eye on your usage, especially if you take a lot of videos. Amazon Prime members get unlimited photo storage, but only five gigabytes of free video storage. Once that's full, videos will stop syncing until you upgrade or clear space. Amazon Photos on your phone. Now let's jump on over to Amazon Photos app because for most people, this is where the real magic happens. It's what's quietly backing up your photos in the background while you get on with your day. Head on over to your app store and download Amazon Photos and sign in with your Amazon account. Before you do anything else, check that backup and sync is turned on. You'll find this at the top of the main screen by clicking on the Amazon Smile, then the settings cog in the top right, then the upload settings and toggle on save photos and save videos. This is what automatically uploads every new photo and video you take on your phone straight to your Amazon cloud storage. When it's running, you'll see a little smile at the top. It spins while it's backing up and turns solid when everything is complete. If it's gray or paused, just tap it to resume. Back to our lovely photos. If you tap on the magnifying glass icon, you open up the search and it works just like it does on the web. You can type in things like sunset, Emma, Christmas or New York and Amazon will instantly show matches using AI recognition and metadata. But here's where it gets even better. You can also filter by year. So tap on the filter options, pick a year and then drill down by month. It's a way to zoom in on specific time periods without scrolling endlessly through your whole library. If facial recognition is enabled, you'll also see little bubbles for each person Amazon recognizes. Tap a face to see all their photos and give them a name so Amazon can tag them automatically in the future. Further along on the filters area, you'll see memories, automatically created highlights based on people, trips, or seasons. You can filter by these two by tapping categories like people, seasons, trips to see just the stories you want. To clear any filter, just tap the X next door to it. Then in the albums, you'll see all the albums you've made and you can create a new one at any time using the plus button. It's perfect for pulling together favorites for a project or family event. Then we have places, things and videos all behave just like they do on the web. Each one filters your photos automatically based on location, object recognition, or media type. And if you like these things in certain orders, the sort option lets you rearrange your photos by date taken and date uploaded. Then if you tap any photo to open it up into full screen. At the top, you'll see the familiar eye info icon. Tap that to see the details like date taken, upload, and farning. Unlike the web version, you can't edit the date here, but it's still a quick way to check the basics. Next to it, you've got three dots, which will open a little menu. From here, you can add photos to an album, download it, hide it, or jump into edit mode. Edit works just like the browser version. You can crop, rotate, add filters, adjust the brightness and contrast, and add text overlays. You can even drop in a sticker, or that little person icon in the bottom left-hand corner will remove the background. I mean, it's not great, but it's a good start. Back in our photo at the bottom, you'll find the quick action buttons. Tap the heart to mark it as a favorite, tap share to send via WhatsApp, email, or any other app, or you can generate a shareable link. And that little square icon with a circle in the middle allows you to share any of your photos with Amazon Shopping to find that top that you've always been looking for. If you're watching this and thinking, this is great, but my photos are still all over the place, then you might want to check out my Photo Mess Success courses. They are perfect if you are ready to finally get your photos into one system, create a backup plan that works and start enjoying those photos again. You can find out more at photomesssuccess.co.uk and there's a version for both Mac and PC so you'll be covered whatever you use. Bonus tip, make Amazon Photos part of your backup routine. Here's my bonus tip, and it's all about turning Amazon Photos into a simple, reliable safety net for your pictures. Unlike Google Photos, Amazon Photos doesn't have a free up storage space button that automatically removes photos from your phone once they're backed up. 
So instead, think of it as your insurance policy, the one place that quietly keeps a copy of everything you care about, just in case your phone is ever lost or damaged. Here's what I recommend. Once a week, open up the app and check the cloud icon at the top. If it says backup complete, you are good to go. Every photo and video from your selected folders is safely stored in the cloud. Then if you're running low on phone storage, you can manually delete the photos from your device knowing that Amazon already has a secure copy. To be extra sure, just open Amazon Photos on the web and confirm that your latest photos are visible there before deleting everything locally. And if you notice some folders aren't backing up, like WhatsApp videos or images, then you need to go to that little smile icon again, go to the settings cog, upload settings, and then device folders to auto save and turn on the ones you want to include. That way, every photo you care about is safely covered. If you'd like to see how Amazon Photos compares to other photo organizing tools, then check out this little video next. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.